Hello everybody and welcome to the Match Reaction Live, yes. Uh, but before we get into this, if you do like what you see, please do smash that like. It does help the channel up the search. So please do give it a like. Thank you very much indeed. And it means new viewers find it more easy. If you're brand new to the channel, come and hit the subscribe. Come be part of this great community we've got here. Also hit that bell notification to keep you up to date with any future shows, um, pre-records or live shows as this is a live reaction show. It is not a pre-record. If you want to become a member, it's 99p. Click the join button. And if you want to make, uh, make a donation to the channel, you can do that by the super chat option by clicking the dollar sign in the chat as well. <clears throat> yes, so how the hell did we win that game? Well, I think we need to have a delve into the game. Right, anyway, oh God, that's a roller coaster, wasn't it, of a game? But anyway, there's the team sheet for Newcastle United. So we saw there was no Trippier in the side. He still hadn't made it, unfortunately. And um, so Livermento started. Um, so that was our team. And then the West Ham team was started like that. So that was the Hammers. Right, where do we start in this game? Well, before we start, let's get into some comments because some comments have come fleeing in. So uh, we'll see what the comments are saying. And uh... Right, Harvey Barnes, the hamster destroyer. Absolutely, Julie, absolutely. Oh, God, honestly. I uh, can't believe what I've watched this afternoon. Honestly, we don't normally win half 12 kickoff. So actually, we've broke with duck. We've actually won one. How the hell did we win that? Well, exactly, Julie. How did we win that? Uh, Lee says, evening, Tony. What a what a result. Barnes was brilliant. Hall as well. What a bell end the ref was. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. We'll get into the ref later on, but oh my God, honestly. Yeah, what a game. What a game. Um, Matt says, hi, Tony. And chat hi to you. Matt, hope you're well. Uh, Mark says, how would you like that tone? Absolutely fantastic, mate. Uh, we're going to get into this as well. Uh, Paul Mann, ha Tony, how did we pull out? For fuck's sake, I was shitting myself, losing 3-1, but we come back. That was great. Barnes, my man of the match. Yeah, I think he's going to be a lot of people's man of the match. Yes, get in, says Trolls. Absolutely. Hi, Tony Bud. Hi to you, mate, as well. Uh, trolls as well. Um, I've done this. I've done this because, look, I thought I'd do a live reaction. I know there's another channel doing a live reaction, but, you know, um, hopefully everybody will come over to here and leave that channel. Um, look, so I'm going in. Yes, I am directly up against the American mag. So hopefully I'll get my viewers coming back over here as well. Look, what a game. What a game. What a game. I mean, geez, did we honestly expect this? We got the penalty in the first few minutes of the game. Um, you know, Gordon was fouled by Sufal. It was a clear foul. Referee gave the penalty. Then VER's looking at it, and yeah, and they're looking for an offside. And you're thinking, oh, here we go again. VER's gonna gonna do the dirty on us, and they're gonna say, you know, they found something wrong. So look, um, thankfully VER allowed the penalty. Isak stepped up, Mister A School, and look, sent Ariola the wrong way and put his uh, penalty in the back of the net, and. Made it 1-0. And you thought, right, okay, we can kick on now from this because we've had the penalty. Let's now kick on and let's go out and win this game. Uh, and let's win it comfortably. And and we did play well up until that point. Um, but the turning point in that first half as well, um, that came down to Jamal Lascelles, who after about 12, 13 minutes, he went down. You could see he was in pain. He was down for a while. They brought a stretcher on. That was waved off. He then went off the pitch, sort of done a bit jogging, came back on, and then went down again. And I thought, why is he being brought back on? So on comes Emil Kraft. We make a total thing of the of the back line. So Kraft's gone right back. Dan Burns centre back, Livermento moves across to the other side to left back. So you're sort of thinking, right, okay, it's a bit disjointed, but we've got to do it that way. Um, but Kraft could have played as a centre half, to be honest. So that's the way we did it. Um, 
And then, obviously, West Ham equalised a few minutes later and uh, Antonio scores. He get, you know, ha- we had a high lane. Um, we were beaten and um, Antonio just goes through. Ball from Paqueta goes through and uh, puts it past Dubravka. Dubravka had no chance whatsoever with that goal, um, to be honest with you. Um, so it was 1-1. And then the referee wasn't really doing us any favours, was he? Um, yeah, you know, Pakatar kept going down for fouls, and you know, some of these fouls, I don't think there were fouls on him. Um, and then the real action comes in the ten minutes of injury time at the end of the first half, and probably one of the most talk, talked about points as well. Um, and, and the big talking point in that one was. Um, when Kudus got the free kick from the foul off Shaw, and then Shaw went down holding his face. He got did get caught by uh, Kudus, um, and West Ham take a free, quick free kick into the box, and there's Kudus to put the ball in the back of the net, and puts West Ham two one up at half time, uh, with the assist coming from Jared Bourne. Um, now the crowd weren't happy with that. And I was sort of thinking, well, hang on, Shaw's down on the floor injured. How can you, how, how can you, you allow that? You know. Um, so, you know, and, and everybody's worrying about what Kudas was saying to the uh, ball boy because the ball boy's all looked at him. I think he wanted his stool because he wanted to sit down. That's his celebration, apparently. Um, but the ball boy was having nothing of it. Um, but yeah, look, they went two one up. But that refereeing decision reminded me of, do you remember when we played Liverpool and Isaac Hayden was down in the box in Jad with a head injury and Mike Dean played on and um, Liverpool scored and then Hayden got the treatment. That was exactly that. That was exactly that same scenario. That is exactly what it was. So we go in at half time. We're 2-1 down. And we're thinking, here we go. Same old again, same old again. Second half, they make a substitution. Ariola's off. Fabianski comes on for them. Um, and then within a few minutes of the second half starting, uh, again, a ball played right through, split to defence. Jared Bourne has got the freedom, gets through, puts it past Dubravka, makes a 3-1. You then think you're then fearing the worst, thinking that's it now. You know, that's it. West Ham's got this game all wrapped up now, and uh, you know that they're, they're going to go on and, and, and win this game comfortably now. Um. So then, then we did make some substitutions after that as well, because on, um, you know, on on fifty five minutes, we well fifty seven minutes, we made some subs. Um, we took off Livermento, we took off Willick, you know, and uh, on came Almiron. Um, obviously, Kraft went off as well, didn't he? Later on, uh, later as well. Sorry, um, yeah, so Anderson, Barnes, Almiron came on, and who and Lewis Hall. So, you're thinking, where are these players playing, you know? Um, so this triple sub, so you're thinking, right, where the players played. And I, th- I originally thought uh, Jacob Murphy was going it right back. And I thought, well, Lewis Hall will be left back. But I was scratching my head thinking of that one. And then I looked and then I thought, well, hang on, Lewis Hall's playing on the right, on right back. So it was Almiron who was at left back. Um, So it was totally flipped over, wasn't it? And... Strange looking tactics from Eddie Howe on that one, but then you were sort of thinking, mm, okay, then that's that's fair enough. Then, then we get the rotten look again. Um because Almiron Almiron goes down, doesn't he? You know? Um and you just couldn't make this up, could you? So he goes off for Harvey Barnes to come on. And you're just thinking, you know, where's our look here? Where's our look going? Um, obviously we saw 
share pull up as well with what looked like a hamstring injury but because we'd made five changes we couldn't obviously do any more so it's it it it, it, it was just like beggar's belief and um you just can't make these injuries up at the moment um but then on 77 minutes calvin phillips fouls gordon in the box now some are saying is it a foul was it a bit soft of a penalty VAR looked at it. David Coote said, I think you need to check the monitor. If David Coote was going to say no penalty, he wouldn't have sent the referee the monitor. So you must have had some doubt in that. Calvin Phillips clearly touches Gordon. It was clever play by Gordon, if I'm honest. And then we get the penalty. Rob Jones comes back. That's points of spot. Alexander Isak, ace cool again, sends Fabianski the wrong way and puts a penalty in the opposite corner. So then you're thinking, 3-2, it's game on now. It's game on, you know. Um, West Ham were offering, but I didn't think uh, West Ham offered an awful lot after that. Um, and then six minutes later, Hart is a beautiful through ball from Isak. What a ball that was from Alexander Isak. Through to Harvey Barnes, takes out the defence, pace and power, and bang, in the back of the net. And you're thinking, wow. It's, it, you know, it's 3 all now. And, uh, you know, and you're thinking, right, okay. I didn't expect this to come. I, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. And then seven minutes later, um, an assist from Anthony Gordon. And uh, who was there again? Harvey Bonds. Straight through the legs of Fabianski. Beat Zuma. Beat the West Ham defence. Straight through the legs of uh, Fabian Skin at the back of the net. Makes a 4-3. Cue the celebrations. We saw a Newcastle fan sort of run from the stands to go onto the pitch. Um, I think he just got overexcited. Probably he's going to get a ban in order now. Um, yeah, so we were then 4-3 up. And then we had eight minutes of injury time to come as well. Um, West Ham get a free kick on four minutes. Gordon kicks the ball away. Um, probably forgetting he's already on a yellow card. Rob Jones pulls out a second yellow and sends him off. Um, I, I just thought, I can't believe this. He's got, he sent Gordon off, you know. Um, could it get any worse? Now Gordon's going to miss the game against Everton on Tuesday, which is a damn shame because I was looking forward to seeing how we get on against them. And because uh, I would love to have seen him score against Everton and see if he actually celebrates. But we're not going to see that now this season because he won't be playing against Everton on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, overall, you know, 4-3, I didn't expect this. Not one bit did I expect this. Uh, just going to pop into some comments because the comments have flew in. Uh, Troll says hi to me. Hi, Trolls, hope you're well. Alan says, well, Tony, a massive win, just what we needed. Yeah, well, I said 2-1, didn't I? So, you know... <laughs> It's sort of like a 2-1, isn't it? So, yeah. Gosh, who, who expected this? Who expected this? Yeah, David says, not going to lie, I turned off a 2-1 down after that disgusting second goal. Ref was absolutely shocking officiating. Yeah, again, we're going to, we'll, we'll get into that uh, very, very soon. Uh, Alan says, hope injuries are not serious. Everton, three days' time. Yeah, we've never seen them doing this like this, have we? Uh, Lisa has been a bad accident today. I think it's on the A1. Oh, well, I hope everybody's okay and concerned. It's Easter weekend, isn't it? And everybody's like on the getaways, aren't they? So, yeah. Uh, mad game ref was disgrace. Bonds and character won out. Absolutely. Uh, Schizopathic says, what a game. Yeah, what a game. What a game. Brilliant. Uh, Tiger Studio says, great win. Papers over the cracks. I still need to go. Yeah, there's still, there's still flaws there. But look, we've won the game. And I think you'd have been under massive pressure if we lost today. Uh, afternoon, Tony, and everyone in the chat. Good afternoon to you as well, Splat. Hope you're well. Uh, BS says, thank God they brought up Phillips. Frank Spencer, a footballer. He's, he's woeful, isn't he? I'm glad we dodged a bullet there. Luton are one up on Spurs. Wow. Uh, 
Andrew. Hi, Andrew. He says, Bond saved their horses. What a finish. Absolutely, what a finish. Uh, Dubs isn't good to bad. We didn't go for to here. Um, and Jan, yeah, I thought we would have. We should have gone for to here. Don't think Dubs was that great, was he? Uh, Mag debates. Wow, absolutely, Mag. Absolutely, mate. Uh, Roly says, Hi, Tony. A great comeback. Hi, Roly. Hope you're well, mate. Yeah, what a comeback, Roly. What a comeback. Couldn't believe it. Um, absolutely. My nerves are shot, says Mag. <laughs> Yours are. Does Gordon miss Everton? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He misses Gordon. Oh, uh, Mrs. Everton on Tuesday. Um, I can't see Lascelles playing on Tuesday. I can't see Almiron meeting it for Tuesday. They both went down the tunnel. Um, not sure if Shaw's going to make it for Tuesday. Um, you know, hopefully Trippier's back for Tuesday. So that might be a saving grace. Um. Livermento don't look good either, does he with his ankle again? Uh, Howin says beer. Uh, Gordon misses Everton, he played that smart. <laughs> well, did he play that to miss Everton? You know, one player who is playing smart at the moment um, is this guy here I'm going to put on screen in uh, just a moment. There he is, and that's Bruno. You know, this guy is still getting away without picking up a yellow card. <laughs> So he's only got a few more games to go and then he, he misses that threshold. So once you hit 32 games, um, you, you miss that threshold and you don't have to pick up another card. So hopefully um, he does that. We're now in eighth place at the moment, by the way, um, on 29, uh, sorry, 43 points. Obviously, Brighton have got Liverpool tomorrow away, which won't be easy. Uh Wolves could sneak above us if they win. Uh, Chelsea can't get above us unless they win like 11 0. Uh, and Fulham have to win, but they wouldn't get anywhere near us because they'd be a point behind us. So, in some ways, we had to have that win today. Definitely. Uh, Connor says, Glad we didn't get Phillips. He was terrible again. Great win, absolutely. For me, Gordon needs a rest anyway. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Gordon did that to get a red card so he doesn't get banned for two. Mm. Uh, penalty decision seems to be peeing Moyes off. No luck, haha. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, Charles, I think I think you made a good point there because he was on eight yellow cards and he was on nine when he got booked. So, yeah, I wonder if that was a ploy deliberately to get... Yeah. Do you know what? That wouldn't surprise me. Because the foul he did on Kudis was a tactical foul. Alan says, penalty decision seems to be peeing off Moyes. No luck, haha. Yeah, absolutely. He got a yellow card. And Eddie Howe got a yellow card as well. So they both ended up with yellow cards. Um, still nine games to go. Everyone needs to calm down. Great win today, but questions will still need to be asked. Yeah, we've still got some tough games coming up. Uh, Bruno looked emotional after that. But after what he was done over by his so-called best friend, no wonder. Absolutely, Julie. I mean, look, um, yeah, he's done He's done really well today, hasn't he? Because uh, we're looting win at the moment, obviously, they're on 25 points. So they're four points ahead of uh, Forrest, who are in the relegation zone. So Forrest are in deep, deep, deep in the mire at the moment. Um, ref so inconsistent with us kicking the ball away. Yeah, absolutely, we are. I totally agree. Pacatar tried to get Bruno off, didn't he? Yeah, he did do. He did. I mean, there was a nice spot when then this first off they did have a hook together and, you know, sort of apologise. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look, um, does Gordon get a one-match ban? Yes, just a one-game ban because it was two yellow cards. Um, So he gets away with it, really. So, it, 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 so I suppose in some ways it's clever because... He may well have got a, a yellow card on Tuesday and then he could have been banned for two games. So, yeah. Um, they are friends off the field, but on the field, enemies, they will do anything to win. Absolutely, Tiger. Absolutely. Um, oh, but The crowd were amazing today, weren't they? I mean, you know, uh, the crowd was behind the team. As soon as we got the equaliser, 
they rode them on they rode them on and yeah it was it was just absolutely fantastic um absolutely brilliant um never seen a as i say i never saw this coming at all never saw this coming um so it was absolutely amazing um and it was absolutely fantastic Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up everyone yeah thanks very much for that lee yeah if you haven't yet hit the like please do smash the like it does help the channel up the search and it means new viewers find it easily so please spend a couple of seconds just clicking that thumbs up and that would be absolutely fantastic thank you very much indeed guys and girls um but yeah i mean look I, I, i'm still in shock i still can't get over how the hell we have won this game considering we look dead and buried you know we were dead and buried just after half time with West Ham going 3 1 up. Um, you know, Isak missed an absolutely sit at didn't he? And Longstaff, what the hell was he trying to do? I'm still trying to work out what Longstaff was trying to do. That was awful that miss from Longstaff, let's be honest. Um But I thought Elliot Anderson played well when he came on. I thought he had a good game. Um so yeah, the subs made the difference, that's for sure. Um Maybe so, but it was shitty behaviour from Paqueta. Absolutely. But yeah, um, I mean, look. Obviously, this is not a full. This is only a reaction show today, but there'll be a full review obviously tomorrow. But I'm gonna let's talk about one one man who probably dominated this game that shouldn't have dominated this game, and there he is. That is Rob Jones, the referee. What an awful referee he was. His refereeing today has been absolutely diabolical. Um, I mean, look. The, the free kick. I mean, Cher was down. He was holding his face. When you see a player holding his head, that normally says, you stop the game. You stop the game there and then. And you say, right, okay, stop this game. And go on. But no. We didn't stop the game. What did we do? They carried on. He let them take the quick free kick and let Kuda score. So bad referee in there from Rob Jones. Some people say it's not, um, but I disagree. I think it was. I think he should have stopped the game. Um, just some of his decisions were just bizarre in the game. And he's some of his yellow cards as well. It was like he wanted to be centre of attention. It's like he's taken over the Mike Dean mantle, you know. How Mike Dean, you say, I'm Mike Dean, I'm centre of attention. Now it's, I'm Rob Jones, I'm centre of attention. Well, let's just say, Rob Jones, that FIFA badge you've got on your shirt should be removed straight away. You should be stripped of that because you're not even fit to referee FIFA games. You're not even a FIFA referee. Nowhere near it. Um, Your level's probably League 2. And, and that's just being kind to you, Rob Jones. Um, yes, okay, he had to send Anthony Gordon off because it was a second yellow. Why was he continuing to play injury time? It was like he was wanting West Ham to score an equaliser. You know, it felt that way. Um, we played almost over 10 minutes of injury time. Yes, I know it's a minimum of eight minutes, and it's it's up to the referee how much time he wants to play. If I was to give this referee a rating, I'd give him minus 10 because he was absolutely shocking. Worst referee I've seen, best referee I've seen at St. James's Park was Sam Barrett. And I thought he was terrific when we had Sam Barrett. I think that was against Fulham when we had him. Uh, yeah, Fulham because he sent off um, Raul Jimenez. And I thought he, he refereed that game well that day, Sam Barrett. But this referee, shocking referee. Don't want to see him ever referee another Newcastle game again this season. I'm sure you'll all get your thoughts in about this referee. I thought Hall did well. Yes, he did splat absolutely, mate. He did he did very well. Ref needs second shake for both teams, absolutely, Andrew. He was terrible. Uh to attempt, that's a cheating master, horrible player. Oh, Pacator, yeah, he isn't he just. Ref wants dropping down a league, he's crap. He wants dropping down more than that, Lee. But then but then does League Two want Really want that referee? I doubt it very much. 
Um, I, I wouldn't think so either. Um, but uh, yeah, I I just couldn't get over the I just couldn't get over the referee at all. Um, really, really, really poor refereeing. Um, I'm going to put a little poll in. Um, and then I'm going to get people to, uh, I'll get you to vote on it while you're in the chat. Um, so if you just bear with me. Um, there you go. So I'm putting a poll in the chat. Um, I'm going to put a poll in the chat. Uh, when I can do it, it's not letting me do this. Why is it not letting me do it? Um. Right, let me um there we are. I've had to put another player on there, so so Paul in the chat. Uh get voting guys, um and girls. Uh, Greg Pierman, hi mate. He says I would have taken three, 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 one down, but buzzing with that win, subs made a difference. Absolutely, you know. Isak got his two penalties and his assist as well. I thought Isak had a great game for us today. Um, yes, he, he he should have scored. He should have had a hat trick. Really, Barnes took his goals really well. Um, you know, and at least for no against Everton, Barnes will be the starter on the left wing with Gordon being missing. Um, Anthony Gordon's had a terrific season for us this season and he's been playing well and deservedly in the England squad and has to go to the Euros in the summer. Sean still shades says, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd rather see Anderson starting ahead of, uh, of uh, Sean Longstaff, if I am honest, if I'm brutally honest. That's what I would like to see. Um But, um, yeah, like I say, the vote's there. So pick your player of the match. Um, and then before the end, we'll end the poll. And uh, we'll see what uh, people have chosen. Even Hall has to replace Sean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He can play in the midfield as well. Right, I'm going to give you my three players that I think, for markings-wise, I thought played really well today. Right. So, look, this isn't saying that they're bad because I'm putting them in a certain order. It's just the way I'm, I'm looking at an order. Um, Because he came on as a substitute, grabbed two goals, got the winner from us. And yes, okay, it may be unlucky he's going to be placed here, but I have to place him in this top three. So in third place is Harvey Barnes. Um, thought he was terrific when he came on and done really well. And because of his two goals, won the game for us. I've placed Barnes in third place as third best. In second place, two goals and one assist. Okay, he might have missed he might have missed a good chance. Um, but I'm going for Alexander Isak. Um, you know, I thought again, I thought he had a good game. Um that pass he made for Harvey Bonds, what an assist that was. Um so I've gone for Harvey Bonds there. Um, because I like I say, I thought Harvey Barnes 
did well, but obviously Isak takes second place, unfortunately, because um, just because of that that one assist he had as well. So I thought he he did really well there, and the player of the match for me. Although yes, he did pick up two yellows and was sent off. Was Anthony Gordon? I thought Gordon was terrific. First off, he was absolutely outstanding. In that first off, he was the only one who seemed to be above everybody else, trying and trying to get us over the lane. Second off, he was outstanding again. Set up Harvey Barnes as well. Um, you know, terrific on the left, terrific on the right. This guy can't do no wrong. And uh, for me, um. I thought he was terrific, and that's why I'm picking Gordon as my main man in this. I'm not to say Isaac and Barnes were bad, but I just thought there was that bit more from Gordon. We saw the passion from Gordon. He won two penalties for us. You know, he's got an assist. Yes, he got the red card. But I th now, like somebody said in the chat, does he done? has he done that deliberate so he misses out on a two-game suspension? Do you know what? If he has... That's well played by Anthony Gordon. He may have well kicked that ball away on purpose in front of the referee, you know, because he did come off the off clap and he didn't look disappointed of being sent off. So I just wonder if it was a deliberate ploy. Uh, Scott says, how got a yellow lol bloody buzzing at the moment, almost out of cans. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Kraft was mad he got hooked. Yeah, he weren't happy at all. Emil Kraft, was he? Not at all. And why should he be happy? Ref was on a pure ego trip, wasn't he? Just uh, Crin, hi, mate. He says, afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you, Crin, as well. Uh, hi, Tony and gang. I remember someone yesterday asking if we thought Bonds would come good. Yeah, never in doubt, was it, mate? Bonds showing them how to strike the ball. Some of them players want to learn that for the goal of them down goal of the month absolutely uh, Trevor says what a flipping match great result thought the ref was shit yeah he was wasn't he absolutely terrible Trevor absolutely awful uh, Gordon Isak and Harvey Barnes I agree yeah I, I, that's the only order I could put them in because I thought that was the way to do it Um. That, that was the only way I could that's the only way I could really separate them you know um but the the polls up there um and uh, at the moment uh Harvey Barnes is on 69 percent and Gordon's on 31 percent no votes for Isaac and no votes for Livermento. well I only had to throw them in there because I had to put another name in there and I just I felt sorry for Livermento because he got shifted around. Um, the defence just looked all over the place when they had to do all that rejigging. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, what a game, what a day. And uh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um. So I will do a, I'll probably do a, a match review tomorrow. So um, I'll try and do a match review tomorrow. So try and join me for that as well. Uh, Trevor says, Anthony Gordon needs to be on a plane for the Euros. Most of the players are going. Do you know what? He has to go at the Euros. Absolutely. Lee says, think Gordon needs a rest. That's where he kicked the ball away. Well, Lee, somebody said in the chat, I think it was because... He was on nine yellow cards after that booking when he pulled down Kudis today, when he pulled back Kudis. Um, and then he's probably thought, well, if I kick that ball away and get a second yellow card, then I'll only miss one game and I'm on 10 yellows. So I think that's why he's done it. Gary says, second half, God, these boys dug in and went for a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Definitely, Gary, definitely. I mean, Everton on Tuesday will be tough. But if we can play like we did today, we should roll Everton over, hopefully. Hopefully we do anyway. 
Uh, currently at the moment in the Premier League, Bournemouth nil, Everton nil, Chelsea nil, Burnley nil after 33 minutes. Nottingham Forest nil, Crystal Palace one at the moment after 31 minutes. Goal from Jean-Philippe Mateta. Uh, Sheffield United nil, Fulham nil after 33 minutes. And it's still Tottenham, Hot- Tottenham Hotspur nil, Luton Town one. X-Man Nuclear, Chong scores the goal after three minutes and there's been 33 minutes played at the moment. So, And then the tonight games, we've got Villa against Wolves at half past five and then Brentford and Man United at 8pm tonight. Obviously, we are going to be game of the day unless one of them two teams has a better game than us and then it'll be probably, but I, I expect we'll be first on match of the day tonight. Need to stick it up, Everton. Absolutely, after a three 0 defeat, I totally, utterly agree with you. Uh, Trevor says, "I bet there were a few fingernails have gone by." Oh God, you're telling me. Uh, when I saw players going down, I just thought there was a sniper at the wee end. Yeah. Scott says, "Yeah, yeah, yo, up the Premier League we go. What a game! What a game! What a result! I mean, you know, we didn't expect it, did we?" Did not expect that one little bit. Absolutely not. Um, definitely. Definitely not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we didn't expect that at all. But, uh, oh, God, I... I'm I'm just speechless. I'm just speechless after what we've seen. But at least we're back in contention for a European place now. Just got to see how ready we are on Tuesday. Um, just want to hope Everton can get beat off Bournemouth today, which might dent their confidence going into Tuesday's game. And hopefully, hopefully say by Tuesday as well, we may find out if Everton's had any more point deductions so if they have, that may further dent their confidence when they come to St James's Park. So, you know, let there's there's things there to look out for. Trevor says that is what you call fighting for the shirt and fans with passion. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Julie says looking one up at Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, they have been since the third minute. Julie, we were dead and buried a three-one West Ham players couldn't believe what was happening. Gary, they couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what was happening. You know, I didn't expect that, did I? I Everton at home, great chance of a bit of a run going in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely just. Um, but yeah, oh, God, honestly. Uh, I Everton at home, great chance to get a bit of a run going. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we need to make a count as well. Because after Everton, we've then got Fulham away next Saturday, which will not be an easy game. And then the following week, we've got Tottenham at home on a half past 12 kickoff. And then... And then the week after, uh, the week after that, uh, or we haven't got anybody because we would have had Man United, but they're involved in the FA Cup semi final. So on Wednesday, the 24th of April, we're away at the Palace, eight o'clock kickoff. Disgusting, that isn't it, really? Um, and then we've got Sheffield United at home on the 27th of April. <clears throat> Um, so look, there's plenty of games there we can win, but we just got to go on a run now and do it. Uh, when is Big Joe back? Um, he's not due back till the end of the season, so he's he's out for the season now. Gary says I said it yesterday. Tony Barnes was a bargain. That's turned out to be in it. Uh, looks like you got more white hair than that after the match. <laughs> I tell you, I probably have made, probably. 
Uh, Scott says, at least I've got the subs correct today for once. Anderson and Barnes changed the game. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely did do. They definitely utterly changed that game 100%, mate. Um, yeah. But uh, it, it, it's about the time the substitutes and bring them on at the right time. And, and he did bring them on at the right time for a change, for a change. So, guys, I've got 34 watching and um, we've got 21 likes. So, if you 24 likes. So, if you haven't yet smashed that like, please do so. It does help the channel um, up the uh, search as well. And it means new viewers can find it as well. Only well, takes a couple of seconds. Click that thumbs up. Anderson gave us some muscle in midfield. He did, absolutely. Mac, I see why is the two channels doing live at the same time? Um, well, because we can do, uh, we can do. Um, plus, I'm going up against American Magpie at the moment. Uh, Barnes, man of the match, says Mac are as well. Yeah, absolutely, mate, absolutely. Um, yeah. Don't matter if two channels are at the same time. The two the viewers choose to go to. And, um, you know, so we shall see. We shall see. Um, but we're not going to do any, obviously, player ratings today. Because, like I say, um, if anybody's missed, these are my... This was my top three that I gave out earlier on. So, just in case anybody's just uh, joined, I gave Harvey... I put Harvey Barnes in third place. I know it's harsh. But it's not being harsh because it's my top three. And I put Harvey Barnes there because of his two goals. Uh, second place I put for his two goals and his one assist, which was a, a fantastic assist, by the way. And that was Alexander Isak, um, who I thought was had a good game as well. And my man of the match today, for the one who showed a lot of passion in the first half, who was driving, who won a penalty in the first half, won a penalty in the second half, got his second yellow card, got sent off. Maybe did that one deliberately to avoid a two-game ban. Uh, and I gave it to Anthony Gordon. I thought he was terrific today. First half, he was trying to get us going. He was probably our best player in the first half. Probably our best player on the pitch, to be fair. Um, and look, yeah, he probably should have been on the score sheet as well today. But you know what? I'm not going to criticise him for not getting on the score sheet. He did have an assist. And he got the yellow card, the second yellow and sent off. And as a viewer rightly said, Maybe he's done that to avoid a second a too much ban. Uh Toon TV not on for match today. I think did he not go to the match today? He went to the football, didn't he? Uh Chelsea penalty, Burnley red card. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. Um, wonder if Chelsea will score that penalty then. Still looking one. Uh, Tottenham nil. <laughs> yeah, Asion's been sent off for Burnley for a second yellow card. So I just wonder if the um yeah it's a foul, penalty foul so just waiting for that to update to see if uh, Chelsea have uh, scored that then. Hall had a great game today. Yeah, I thought Hall did well when he come on. Jack got exams. Maybe it's that. Or did Jack go? Yeah, I, th I think he did go. Julie, I'm sure he said he was going to the West Ham game. I'm sure I can remember him saying to me he was going to the West Ham game. Gone to VAR. Hi, Julie. Happy. Uh, Chelsea will definitely score to call Palmer. I think AJ has fallen in love with football since he come to the tune. You can tell how he's back to his best. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, Anthony Gordon has been a terrific player for us and people... All these Everton fans who are all saying, ah, he's not that great. You've got a player, he's crap. He's not this, he's not that. I bet they're looking at him now and thinking, hang on a minute, what have we done? Everton have sold him too cheap now. You know, all these Everton fans laughing. Well, he ain't laughing now. Company sent off as well. Dave's got, David's got him in his fantasy team. 
Paul Palmer, more points for FPL. Uh, if he scores it, that's if he doesn't miss. So, yeah. Uh, it's still nil nil at the minute, but I don't know if he's um I don't know if the penalty's been given yet, has it? Um but we just have to we just have to wait and see on that one and uh see if he scores. Right, let's have a look at the um poll now. Right, so the poll's changed now. Um so far we've got Gordon on thirty percent, Isak on nine percent, and Barnes on sixty one percent. Goal says Crin. Oh, he scored. Alessandro, I read an article that said if West Ham win the Europa, there might be a six spot available for Europe next year. Could mean six gets Champions League or into Europa with an almost guarantee. Well, for West Ham to win that, they're going to have to get past their Bayer Leverkusen, and that's going to be a tough ask because they're a good side. He never misses no Palmer goal. AJ is the best in the country in his position, no question. I mean, look, you know how we're looking for a right winger? Should we in the summer have gone for Cole Palmer? Should we have gone 45 million and got him in? Because it looks like it's an absolute bargain. Can you imagine Cole Palmer one side for us and Gordon the other? He's only a poor little hammer. Ha <laughs> ha. I've Captain Palmer says, uh, Julie, nice one, Julie, nice one. But should we have gone for Palmer in the summer? That is a good question, isn't it? That is a really good question. Should we have gone for Palmer in the summer? But, uh, you know, um, it is what it is. Right, I'm, the poll's going to end, so... Um, the winner is Barnes on 58%, followed by Gordon, 33%, and 8% went for Isak. So thank you to everybody voting in that poll today. Much appreciated. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, but we can't believe this uh, win today that we got. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we're up to eighth now. And, um, you know... As Yazoo and the plastic population once said, the only way is up. Absolutely. And uh, let's hope we keep that going. Got to keep it going. Uh, Murph's are so much productive than Miggy down the right. Yes, he is. I mean, look at the crosses Murphy was putting in compared to what Miggy does. Yeah, I totally and utterly agree, Gary. But I've always said Miggy's better on the left, and I keep saying it, and I'll keep banging on about it until the cows come home. But Miggy is better on the left. Uh, Julia says to Alessandro, I'll see it to my partner earlier, probably the same if Liverpool win Europe and West Ham won't, while Liverpool are still in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can see that. I could see Liverpool winning that because you can just see it be Jurgen Klopp going out on a high, wouldn't he? And uh, that's exactly what Jurgen Klopp wants to do, go out on a high. Craig says, how the hell am I going to go to sleep? It's 2.47am now. Oh, gosh. It's early in the morning, that, isn't it? Jeez. Uh, Miggy created two big chances in five minutes. Not his fault. Long staff butchered it. No, I'm not on a... I, you know, Miggy's better, as I've said. Yeah, he's better on the left. That's why. That's why we're creating with Miggy on the left. Uh, they were mocking us at 3-1 up, but they had egg on their faces at the end, says Ronald. Yes, they did, didn't they? Uh, Foxy's in the chat, he says, terrible performance defensively, very lucky today for Moyes, poor substitution of Antonio off for Phillips, great comeback though, yeah I totally agree, Foxy, when they took Antonio off, I couldn't believe that, I thought, what's he doing Um, because I thought Antonio played well for them, he's a, he, you know he, he's, he might be 34 um, but he, you know, he can still score and we can see the goals he can score, but defensively we were absolutely shocking today Foxy um, utterly and totally shocking. So, yeah, you're absolutely spot on with that. The defending was absolutely awful today. Just kamikaze defending, wasn't it? You know, we've now conceded over 50 goals now. 
which is not great, is it? Not great. Um, Mad Max says, what result? Oh, the moon got lucky. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, B.I. Miggy putting a great right and left for Cruston, to be fair to him, deserved an assist or two. Shame he went off injured. Moyes thought the game was over, didn't he just? Didn't he just? Game's never over. Even a 3-1, it's still a dangerous result because all it takes is to get one goal and then you're back in it. Uh, Alessandro talking to Julie J. Uh, Hall, Livermento and Barnes to start. Yeah, they will do, yeah, because Gordon's ruled out on Tuesday now. West Ham got arrogant, thought they had won, and we used that to our advantage. Yep, yeah, absolutely did. Uh, Paul Anson says, I'm shattered after that game. More ups and downs than a stripper snake. <laughs> oh, my God. That's one way of putting it, Paul, absolutely. Uh, Gary says, the way the game went, I was convinced that they were going to equalise. Um, with the last kick of the game, I did not enjoy the final three minutes. No, I didn't either. I thought the referee was waiting for them to get an equaliser. But the back line lost two players, yeah. Uh, moments change games. Thankfully, Phillips got on the pitch and gave us a pen, lol. <laughs> absolutely. Phillips has been awful for them, hasn't he, Foxy? He's just been absolutely awful. Ron says, Moyes dropped a reek clanger with the subs on. He must be fuming with him. Got again in here. Absolutely, Ronald. Absolutely, mate. If Eddie Howard done that, I'd be fuming as well. So, yeah. I, I bet the West Ham fans want Moyes out now. I bet they do. You know? Um, but he won't be sacked. That's the thing. They'll probably sack him. At, they'll probably get rid of him at the end of the season, to be fair. Um, but, yeah. More ups and downs than when you're in a brothel, I'll get me caught, says Charles. <laughs> God. Jeez, eyes, jeez, jeez, jeez. Um, but yeah. I'd rather have a band Tenali than a Fit Phillips. Absolutely, definitely, definitely. Uh, Alessandro talking the trolls there. Yes, yeah, so oh, but it's been it's it's been absolutely brilliant today. And uh, it, it puts you in good spirits for the Easter weekend, doesn't it? You know, knowing that we've we've got the game on Easter Saturday and we've won it. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm coming to the end of this show. Anyway, I was only going to do about half an hour, so I've done about 53 minutes. But uh, anyway, if you have liked what you see, then please do smash the like. It does help the channel up the search. So please do smash the likes. Thank you very much indeed. Also, if you are brand new to the channel, come and smash the subscribe. Come be part of this great community we have yeah. And also hitting that bell notification tells you when I'm live, have a pre-record or any upcoming shows. If you want to become a member, it's 99 p. You can do that by clicking the join button. And if you want to make a donation to the channel, you can do that in the chat by clicking the dollar sign using the super chat option. All money reinvested back in the channel. Let's get into some comments. Um... Excellent show as always, Tony. Cheers, Splat. Thanks very much, mate. Great show, says Trolls. Cheers, mate. Happy days, people. Take care, all. You too, Gary. Uh, great show, Tony and everyone. Happy Easter weekend, everyone. Same to you. And Trolls as well. Yeah, so remember, the future's bright. The future is definitely black and white. Have a brilliant Easter, everybody. I shall try and be back tomorrow at some point. I'm not sure what time yet, but there will be a a review show tomorrow at some point. Do enjoy Easter Day. Try not to eat too many Easter eggs. But you know what? Fuck it. Celebrate. Get the cans out. Get your bottles out. Whatever you're going to have to drink. Get the chocolate out. And uh, have a good binge. Why not, you know? Um, it is Easter after all. Um, Prince says, thanks, Tony. Take care, everyone. How are you, the lads? Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Great show everyone as well yeah thank you very much indeed lee yeah so it's been an eventful day but look it's ended you cast an eight of four west time united three checking out for now how are you the lads <laughs>